Also, now certainly growing up in Africa, there's a lot of poverty, there's a lot of illness, uh, disease, strife, a lot of suffering. One of the really fascinating things about living in Africa is that people are very joyful in the midst of this suffering. And so one thing I did learn was how unimportant material goods are towards happiness and human flourishing. The other thing I realized is how deep my African friends' faith was and how much they were sustained by their faith and how much of a difference it made in their lives. And so I could see the power of God acting in the middle of all that suffering. I still find it very difficult to see children dying or all the, many of the things that I've seen with my own eyes, which are horrible things and difficult things. And I think what they do is they spur me on to do something about them or to at least encourage something to be changed. But at the end of the day, funnily enough, it was the experience of seeing real suffering, but seeing the redemptive power of the gospel working in the middle of that suffering that had a big impact on me coming to faith. Yeah. So I mean, I'm so obviously I feel that God has called me to theoretical physics, which isn't terribly useful for solving poverty in in Central Africa. Um, but I do feel that because I grew up there, I do have an understanding of that part of the world, and because I lived in a small village. And so one of the things I do at the moment is I I work with a Christian organization that makes documentary films to f by Africans for Africans to help them see how they can solve their own problems. Because by and large, they need to solve their own problems. And they can solve their own problems. But sometimes there's a lack of understanding of how to do it, or sometimes there's a lack of confidence that they can do it. And so by making materials which are local, by people that are there, for people that are there, I think we can, we're, we're in producing uh, something which would be very, very powerful. And so the way I help out with that is I help out by giving long-term strategic advice, by giving input. I've done a little bit of filming myself and just helping to make these materials relevant to the ground locally. That's something. That's one way that I interact. Another way that I hope to interact is I, I, I feel that the real answer to a lot of the problems in Africa is the gospel, is changed hearts and changed lives. And so anything I can do to help spread the gospel in Africa, either through reaching African students here or helping Africans reach the people here in the West, I think those are ways I can help Africa.